brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, it's brother wisdom. When we, as the original people, were created by Mother Nature, Mother Cosmos here on this planet, long, long ago, we were not created as regular people. That's number one key point. We were not created as regular people. We were created as warriors. Though we did farm, though we did build and create, we had a warrior's mind and a warrior's heart. Ever since the creation of this planet, that has been a tax on our planet by beings from other worlds who had the desire to conquer, to rule, to own something that doesn't belong to them because they were out of balance with the cosmos. And these negative vibration genes are energies that create within themselves and it's just like your body sometimes your body has a, a sickness or a virus that sometimes it creates that you only can uh, destroy sometimes you have a bacteria that you know you say hey I just have to live with it it's not killing me it's just a bacteria that formed in my body and and it's a part of me and this is how Mother Cosmos see it, because within the cosmos, because she says, I've straightened it out and it turned right back that way again, which means it was destined to be that way. Your strength is as great as your strongest weakness. We were not created to be slaves. Remember that. We were created as warriors. We were created as beings of a high level of energies and powers. Many of us see ourselves in our past lives and we try to figure out what did I do? Who am I? There are little things that you do in the physical realm as you're trying to wield energy in the third dimension when you should be focusing your yourself on a fifth dimensional level. All your little innuendos that you did All right. This is something that you did in all of your past lives. Remember, like we said in the video yesterday, this is the first time, the first lifetime that we've had that we were not able to wield our powers because of these orcs and archons who offset us when they did what they did on our planet. They fear us having orgons. They fear us having crystals. Most of the affairs have an orgone stuff. Because orgones are highly radioactive. And they bring back that energy and power that belongs to us. If we take orgones and if we raise it all the way up to the sky, they fear that because that reminds them they have a they have a memory bank that their forefathers gave them in their in their artificial intelligence bodies of the orgones that were at the very top of our towers. All right. Remember what you did in your past life as far as uh, wielding energy is something that you'll do now. If you had a wand, if you had a scepter, if you had a staff, 
if you had crystals and different energies and different amulets on you you still have those now and you seek to collect these things because they were a part of you in your past life all right so for instance my past life <clears throat> point in wielding this energy is not to go into a physical anger. You must be able to bond rage and fury together. Okay? Rage is masculine, which is order. Fury is feminine, which is chaos. You must be able to bond the rage and fury together in order to allow this energy to flow. So you must make yourself, your body, limp. Make your body limp. Because I remember myself in my past life. My locks came down to about right here. I had locks on my beard that came to here. And I was able to turn myself into pure lightning energy that looked like roots. But they were lightning energy. Can you hear? Relax yourself. Let the energy flow. Swing. Swing. Because when you're ready to wield this energy, you're going to find yourself in a limp mode. And this is when you are allowing your spirit and your soul to work together. Your soul is that feminine energy. Your spirit is that masculine energy. So you have to go deep within your soul, within the darkness, and what is within the darkness, but this powerful feminine energy that is within your soul. Understand the energies and powers that belong to us. Anytime you are in the darkness within yourself, when you go into the darkness, you are going into your soul, which is your feminine energy. Time you go into the light, you're going within your spirit, which is the masculine energy. So you must be able to combine the two rage, fury, order, chaos. All right, that's the key point. That's the key point. Your warrior's meditation is a simple meditational stance. 
your feet about shoulder length apart. You're here. This is your warrior's meditation stance. For those who have scepters or wands, um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Right back. Okay, I'm back now. For those of you who had scepters of wands, you knew how to wield that energy. Practice now is the time to practice. Okay? Every 13 days, our powers are going to be becoming more evident within us. All right? Because we're in a cycle now where everything is going backwards. So every 13 days will be a different day. A different energy, a different energy cycle. All right, some of you who have scepters and wands. Yeah, oh my. All right. Focus on your inner self. Your ancient language comes from your soul. It's a funny sounding language, and don't be afraid to speak it. Don't be. Don't think about what you're trying to say that well I can't understand it stop using your physical mind to try to understand something cosmic because this is a cosmic language allow your soul which is the most uh, uh, powerful derivative of the cosmos to come out of you okay I'll be right back here okay some of you have warrior sticks some of you have warrior sticks where you use to wield your energy through alright some of you have warrior sticks This is how you sent the energy. It's a lot of working out. That's why it's important to work out. All right. You're working in this physical body using cosmic energy. That's the importance of working out. That's why I'm exercising every day. I'm running every day. I'm doing my Tai Chi. All right, it's just like I threw eating. <laughs> I had a big breakfast, <laughs> so um, a lot of fruits and vegetables. All right, um, but when it comes to fighting, and you're going within your soul, you will not tire. We were created to be warriors. We were created as warriors. Originally. When we came out of those colossal trees, those big giant vaginal cavities, we literally came out ready for battle and we were clothed in nature. And we came out in battle. But like I said, these enemies that we deal with, this is the first time we dealt with a cunning enemy, as cunning and as convincing as they are. All the other enemies were blunt, and we fought. This was a new type of enemy that came, created 6,000 years ago, wise and cunning, yet vile and poisonous, but made, but made themselves appear so beautiful and innocent. Hmm. So the key point is that we understand the powers that's within us so that we can wield it through charging yourself up. Here. 
You want to breathe through your nose very quietly to the point where you want to feel the energy come straight up here and through your nose. So you want your legs together, like so, like so. Because you need that energy, that masculine and that feminine energy, to be connected together with your legs. I'm gonna slowly move them apart. Things that you did in your past life, you're doing now. You remember the energies that you wielded. Now you want to wield that energy back. That's why everything is coming back. Because we want to be the people that we once were. We are controlling this. They're not controlling anything. They want us to think that they're controlling things, but we're controlling this. So the more that you want your energy, your energies and your powers back, the faster the energy returns. So all of these Kaiser belts up here are working on our spirit and soul, our bodies. So the more that you want this energy back, the stronger the pulse that comes to us every 13 days, the 13 day cycles. Alright. So the stronger the the um pulsating energy every thirteen days. Remember that. Remember that. We are warriors created for our planet. We were not created to be judges and police officers and lawyers and politicians. Weak ass, pussy positions. No. We were created. The warrior giants of this planet. All of us. Every one of us. So it's important that you continue to practice wielding your energy. Continue practice wielding your energy. Continue practice bringing this power from your soul, from nature. Make it come out of you. We know that the trees are not around, but you still have our planet. Pull the energy from everywhere around you. You couldn't feel it, but while I was doing these things, every time I started doing this, the wind picked up. Because nature works right along with you. Nature works with you. Just why I was, you know, urging everyone to do Tai Chi and, you know, when the so-called cold months, do your Tai Chi, get this in. You know, get your meditation in. Because now it's time for the warriors to return. We are now in the corner to the astral realm. All right. We talked to quite a few, uh, uh, well, I see quite a few posts, brothers and sisters, going to the astral realm, beginning to battle. 
So remember your battle formations that you had in your past life and take it with you in the astral realm so that you can become more powerful in the physical realm. They, these enemies do not like this because there is no way for them to battle against us. They're trying to create what they call super soldiers right now because they know this time is coming, which is um, what you call, um, what they call androids, not cyborgs, but androids, where they are part flesh, part machine. Cyborgs are full flesh, but very powerful beings. We are cyborgs, full flesh very powerful beings that has energies all right that's why it's important for us when when we're ready to wield that energy you have your crystals you have your crystals you have your scepters you have your your weaponry with you all right practice practice It's important that you practice. It's important that you understand who you are. It's important. We're coming into the time of war. And these beings think that because we don't have guns, that they can just destroy us. No, 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 no. It doesn't go that way. You have a power within you that you'll never run dry of your power. Use it to protect yourself, use it to protect your family, and use it to destroy. Don't listen to the movies where they say, oh, you got this power and you're not supposed to kill. Because that's a false, that is a they, that is a false knowledge that they try to enter into our spirits and our souls through the media. Using Dragon Ball Z, using um, uh, Black Lightning using um avatar telling us oh yeah you're not supposed to you're not supposed to use this power to kill yes you are that's why you got it that's what we did before that's why these beings say you got these strange beings that never seen before these are beings that we killed the giants were here to help us we walked among the giants but something happened on our planet that caused all of us to fall from our powers, even the giants and these orcs that we're dealing with, these so-called white people, their forefathers came. They told us in their book called the Bible, they are the Israelites, they are the Hebrews. They told us in their Bible who they are and when they came to our planet and the destruction that they caused. Now it's time for us to bring back order and balance. Balance is chaos. Remember that balance and chaos are one and one there together. So you bring order. Balance comes from here, which is chaos. So remember who you are. Go into your most inner part of you. This is why it's important for you to go within yourself, to find yourself. Those who are having problems doing it, you're working too hard. Give up your thoughts, give up your physical means, and go directly into you. Take a deep breath and go within you. All of your powers lie within you. And everything that is within you is all around you in nature. You have more weapons than one, believe me. We have the ability to make rocks lift in the air. And they were projectiles for us. We had lightning, we had fire, we had laser energy that came from our eyes. We had, uh, oh my goodness, all types of things. I mean, 
we we had acidic properties where we can spit acid on our enemies and make them just fry I mean we had literally bundles of lakes of fire coming from our mouths where we were able to spit fire these beings know who we are and it's us who don't know who we are everything that you could possibly imagine of yourself that is you because your soul and your spirit is telling you I am this and you must get to where I am which means that you must go to that place of darkness right that place of darkness here you go Sorry about that. <laughs> but you go into that place of darkness. All right. They showed you ancient India where they showed Krishna. Krishna was a sister. All right. They have redone her face so many times, and remade the statue so many times, and gave the, the, uh, the common statue to see with a pointy nose. But originally, Krishna had a flat wide nose and thick lips and they showed her like the spider arms and the legs why did they do why did they show that they were talking about that spider energy all right that spider energy which is that kinetic energy you see she had six arms and two legs which is comes to the number eight you know how many appendages does a spider have eight appendages and all so this is that spider energy that you must pull from yourself understand who we are many times we wielded energy with one leg because one leg came up one leg was grounded and the other leg connected to that energy all right one leg was grounded and the other leg connected to the energy now we had a dual energy we had a ground energy and we had an atmospheric energy one is negative, the other is positive. Understand who we are. We were created as warriors all over the world. We were created as warriors of the planet. All power to the multi chakra, celestial energy means we will visit us again. Peace to you all.